Hey guys, Shadow Mr. One here, and uh, this little video is going to give you an insight on the Pokemon Competitive Conference. Um, this is the official rules and regulations video um, for the conference, so let's get started. First, the rules. It will be POP format, meaning double battles, no main legendaries, um, and stuff like that. Um, you know, all the same rules, no nicknames of other Pokemon. Uh, you can basically go to the Pokemon website and look up their official rules from there. Double battles only. No single battles, no thir triple battles, no rotation battles, or no all that stuff. No main legendaries. And there's basically a list down here in the bottom of the slide I'll mention here in a mo moment. There will be no drafts. This will be college style. And what I mean by college style is... Um, there, uh, they basically you are able to pick your Pokemon per every game per week. You can, uh, you can change them as you please to kind of confuse your opponents, or you can keep them the same. There will not be a draft to pick your Pokemon. Team names must be cities from Hoenn. For example, my team, the Verdant Turf Town Hokies, is based from, as you can guess it, Verdant Turf Town. My brother, Liam Bomb Gaming Team, is based from Mauville. They are called the Zombies. Your mascot must be appropriate. I'm going to highlight this one here because it is very important. I do not want a team that has an inappropriate name uh, depicting alcohol, drugs, pornography, all that kind of garbage. I want the mascots to be an actual mascot. Uh, the following Pokemon are Band, Mewtwo, Mew, Ho-Oh, Lugia, Groudon, Kyogre, Rayquaza, Dialga, Palkia, Giratina, Arceus, or, or Arceus, if you're different in pronouncing, Darkrai, Manaphy, Fion, or Fion, however you pronounce it, Zekrom, Regiram, Kyrim, or Kyrim, however you pronounce it, uh, Genesect, Keldeo, Meloetta, Xerneas, Eveltal, Zygarde, Diancy, Hoopa, and Volcanion. They are all banned from competition in the Pokemon Competitive Conference. Now, Divisions. If this is possible, which is why I have this included here, the conference will need eight or more teams for divisions to be implemented. The divisions will, are east and west and are depending on the city the ho that hosts your team is based in. Records will be kept of win and losses for each division, and the best record from each division will compete for the, po for the Pokemon Competitive Conference Championship. All teams, w all teams will have a designated cross-division rival to, to kind of represent your division. What I mean by cross-division rival is that if there is divisions implemented, each team will have a rival from the other division. Now, if we have an odd number such as 9 or 11, um, of course, there will be one team that is exempted from this rule. If a tie is present in the same division, for example, let's say my team and my little brother's team have the same record, the head-to-head -head rule will be applied. Um, I don't think I mentioned it in the next slide, but it says to see it in the next slide. But I'm going to go ahead and explain it. The head-to-head -head rule is, is that if the two teams have played before, the winner of that game will be given the advantage, and if if it's for the leading um, of the, for the leader division, say me and Verdant Surf Town and Mauville, which are me and my brother's teams tied, and are both, for example, seven and one. For the, if this were eight teams, um, precisely, this would be a moment of um, uh, who's who in the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams who won. So let's say I beat, let's say Verdant Turf beat Mauville, uh, then Verdant Turf would be given the opportunity to play in the P PCC Championship. Disclaimers: All matches will be accurately recorded. Uh, they will be put on the website once that's set up. Uh, any matchup with a YouTuber can be recorded, no exceptions. What that means is that you can't say, "Oh, I don't want to be on YouTube. I can't. I don't want to be on this YouTube video." Um, because uh, I'm not good at this, you know. You have to uh, basically the only ways you can exception. I'm not gonna add it here. Will be if uh, if there's if you have a really good reason, like um, religious or something like that, you know. Uh, if you or um, some uh, it just has to be a really good reason. I'm just gonna say that a stat chart will be seen in each PCC preview on the official website once it's set up. Uh, what I mean by stat chart is uh, kind of like you would see in a college football preview where they're like, oh, this guy's got so many yards per game or so many touchdowns. Um, and those stats will include the KOPG, or knockouts per game, average damage dealt, how many one-hit KOs they've gotten, as well as the Pokemon's individual attributes, as well as the team's top three, and the keys to the game. Now, this is a common thing you'll see on ESPN, the keys to the game. Um, basically, what that'll be will be like a little bit at right at the end of the uh, promotion of the game of the matchup and it will say what the teams need to do to win 
this quote unquote league is for people to get practice for official Pokemon tournaments. So basically, this league was designed basically with the full on true competitor in mind. Um, basically, this is going to get you practice against people you don't know or teams you won't expect. So when you go to a tournament like the regionals or the nationals or the worlds, you're basically ready. Next is the website. The PCC will have a website before October 30th, 2015. It is October 3rd at the time this video is recorded. So um, basically I've got around 27 days to set it up. News from the conference will be seen from said site. Match previews will also be visible, as well as recorded matches from the YouTubers of the community. So for example, me, Liam Bomb Gaming, Ravage Legend, not, oh, not Apologo 305, but um, us three. Um, we can, we'll post, we'll probably, I'll probably link in their, ma their matches that they've recorded onto the website. Game and practice procedures. Games are on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Any postponed games will be done on Sunday or Monday. Um, basically we'll have Wednesday night PCC action, Friday night PCC action, and Saturday PCC action. They'll, and there might be a Saturday night game involved as well. Any postponed games, which means those that are postponed for whatever reason, um, bad connections, uh, lack of internet, stuff like that, will be moved on to Sunday or Monday. Practice is done on a weekly basis and can, can be composed of the following, but they do not have to be reported. Um, basically what that means is that week, that basically during the regular week, if, as long as your game's on a Saturday or a Sunday or Monday, you get that week to practice. If you got a game on a Wednesday, you may have a bye week or something before then. Um, Wednesday and Fridays are those two days you'll have a bye week but um, when I say they do not have to be reported that doesn't mean that just because they're, that I put stri strict restrictions on practice days does not mean that they have to be reported I'm just saying these are ways you could practice if you felt like it you can do a film study because I am going to mandate um, battle videos to be posted somewhere in um, a PCC area I'm probably going to try to get the battle video codes of each individual matchup um, so the next opposing team can do film study on said matchup and kind of learn what's coming. Secret base battles. If the player that you're going up against the next week has a secret base, you can go to it and practice against their team. Mock battles through the versus recorder. This kind of has a bit of a correlation with the film study to kind of practice against their team to kind of get a general idea of how the actual matchup will go. And then of course, battle resort battling. Now this is a good way to practice to get kind of an idea, especially if you're doing the super double battle challenge. To kind of get an idea of um, how to um, see what's coming. And then uh, those are the people that founded the league. Me, uh, J. Adamson1, has our Twitter, has Lean Bomb Gaming here as well. Uh, his Twitter handle, he's the co founder of the league as well. So that's basically a brief generalization idea of what the Pokemon Competitive Conference will be like. Uh, again, registration is going to be held. Um, all the way up until we get a maximum of 16 teams. That will be when registrations are cut off, unless otherwise specified. So, um, like and subscribe for more from the channel, and if you're really interested in this, please, please, please sign up, because I would love to get to know some of the fans in the community, and also face them in battles. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys again later.